What's up everyone, Art from Patience Metal Fab, and I'm glad that you're joining us for another episode of our Volkswagen Beetle build. Now in the first episode, you might have seen that we got a bare frame delivered to us, and it was our job to essentially fabricate the front and rear aftermarket suspension components to the frame. And if you haven't seen that episode, I'm gonna drop a link in the description so you guys can check it out, get caught up before we keep going forward with this build. Now, in that episode, you saw that we loaded it up onto Tristan from Further Performance's trailer, and the next stop for it is Vecchio's, which is a custom body and um, metal finishing shop. Now, they do some really excellent work, and the client has the body of the Volkswagen there right now. Then eventually, it's going to go back to Tristan's shop so he can install the engine and transmission that he's working on, and then as the circle of life with fabrication projects like this goes, it's it's gonna end up right back at Patience Metal Fab for us to do some of the finishing things on it. Now that means there's a ton of content to come and we're sort of in the early stages of this build still. I'm really excited to see what Vecchio's has in store because not only do they have progress on this build, but I'm sure they've got a lot of other cool builds hanging out around the shop. We'll see what it's like in just a few minutes. The gentleman you saw helping out unload the car is Bo from Vecchio's. Him and Tristan are kind of trying to figure out the little details and particulars. You can see the body is right there with the over fender portions off. I, like I said, I believe they're doing a wider custom metal version of those. So eventually that body's gonna get set on this. And uh, when I said it's coming back to PMF, that's gonna be for the cage portion. So that car will be fully caged. I mean, this is really a top to bottom, no holds barred build. It's gonna be a ton of money to that beetle. Just looking into the shop, there's a lot of really cool stuff already outside of the beetle. I see a fastback Mustang right there, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's probably at least a dozen builds happening right now. I'm hoping that we can walk around with Bo and he can give us an example of the type of work they do and maybe the progression of some of the builds from a frame that gets delivered like this to something that's ready for paint. So the game plan is to walk through the shop and get to know some of the builds that are out here, uh, but Bo is a busy man, so I figured he'd give a little intro on Vecchio's and then we would do a walk around solo, see what we can find, and eventually maybe come back and sit down, get a little more in depth on something in particular. So if you guys see something you like, just write down in the comments, this is the car that I wanna know more about, and we'll see if we could link back up. But give us a little crash course in the shop, how long you've been around, what do you do? Yeah, uh, I'm Bo Vesho, owner of Vesho's Customizing Restoration. So we've been around 23 years. Uh, my son was six months old when I opened the shop and he's out here full time, you know, building cars with us. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, we've got about 14,000 square feet of, you know, probably 20 projects or so going at, at one time. Uh, yeah, so we'll take a little tour and show you what we got and go from there.
some time later. As I mentioned earlier, the Beetle build is a collaboration between ourselves, Vescios, and Further Performance. And right now, the owners of those shops are out there, along with Brian and Gary, and the owner of the Beetle, discussing a little bit of a game plan change. Now, the last time I was at Vescios, where I got that footage, was six weeks ago or so. And since then, they were able to get the body on the frame that we modified. The owner was able to take a look and decided that he wants to go even lower with the car. So Brian and Gary are kind of feeding them some information on how we could accomplish the vision that the owner has and then really change the direction of the build to suit what he wants as the end result. So I'm going to wait till the conversation's wrapped up. I'll get with Gary and he can give us the breakdown and all the details of what we're going to be doing to that car next. Bo, Tristan, and the owner of this car just took off, so I figured I'd grab Gary for a second and have you give us the breakdown exactly what's happening, because I'm totally in the dark about this car now. Uh, from what I understand, he wants to go lower than what can be accomplished with how it currently sits, right? Yeah, this is what you would call a hard left, <laughs> is what this build just did. Um, he saw a rendering uh, recently, got a really cool idea for this. It's gonna require the car to go probably four inches lower than it sits right now, and that's not gonna be feasible with the suspension in the car the way it is right now. We will retain all of CRC's suspension components in this, but we're gonna relocate them in relation to the car. So if you think of essentially Zing a floor pan, it's kind of what we're gonna be doing. But uh, after a little discussion, um, the customer really just decided, let's get completely rid of the floor. We'll just tube chassis it and then do flat floor pans on it. What's the purpose of the car at the end of the day? What does he want to do with it? He wants to track it on like a road course style circuit. So there's some intricacies with this chassis that are gonna become uh, very noticeable once we get into this thing. Namely, the motor that's going in this is about the biggest air-cooled you can build. It's got a big turbo on it, and they've done a lot to make sure that that fits under the original hood, trunk, bonnet, whatever you wanna call it. So when we do the chassis, there's some, some nuances that are gonna have to really be paid attention to. Otherwise, We've pretty much got a blank slate now to just do what we need to do to get this thing on the ground and still function the way the suspension should. Now that we've got a game plan and a direction that we can go in with the Beetle, we have to free up our frame table. There's a different project that's on it right now, a S10 Sonoma frame up build that I actually want to do a breakdown video on, so I will get to that. But for now, they have to get that off of the frame table, get the table cleaned up, get the Beetle on it, and then get it in the back of our shop, which will be the spot that's going to remain for most of the build. Now there's so much to come on that car. It's basically a blank slate right now. I'm excited for the footage and the content and I'm gonna be gathering that, presenting to you guys very soon. So if you like where this build is going, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the page. Stay tuned for more episodes.